Okay, this is a little video on how to make chases in Fantasy Grounds um, Combat Tracker, Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition. Open up your chases and create a new chase. This one is going to be called Stinky with six places. Stinky is a grumpy cobbler who doesn't like being asked questions and the investigators have asked too many questions questions whoops so he grabs his ammo and gives chase boom right so there's going to be the shop then the street and getting out the to the shop is to the street then you've got to jump over a manhole which has got sewage spilling out of it so it's not very nice so we'll stick that um sewage with a dex check to jump over before free and then add another one which is a wall to climb over strength check at before six so it's the last thing they're going to jump over before they um finish the chase that's the chase done drag it over there lock it yep okay combat tracker drag your characters onto the combat tracker they're probably already on there but i'm putting them on now there they are and then grab stinky off the npcs there he is stinky the cobbler boom he's on it now grab the pin for the chase and drag that onto the combat tracker and then Click on the two man running men up there. And here you have the chase. All right. Now everyone goes to their starting positions. And all the uh, players will roll, click on the move. If they do a good success, they get a bonus um, speed. He's got a penalty. If they get, Frederick's got. Frederick's got no penalty, so he's normal. Percy got a penalty. I'm Betty. And Betty's got a bonus. So Betty gets three actions. Percy gets one. Frederick gets two. Percy gets one. And uh, Stinky gets one. Okay, so now go in dex order. Normal initiative based on dexterity, so. Detective Miller gets one move and now he's stood in front of the sewage pit. And pass you go to Frederick. Frederick gets two moves, but he's got to jump over the sewage first. So let's open up his character sheet. Do a dex check. Boom, he jumped over it. I don't know what a critical success could be, but that's up for the keeper to decide. Maybe he jumps an extra spot. Right, now it's Percy's go. He gets one move. And he's now stuck in front of the sewage as well. Bet he gets three moves, so her first move is to go there. Then she's going to jump over that, hopefully. Yep, she succeeded. She's almost finished. Okay, Stinky's go. Stinky gets one move. And, um... We pass back to Detective Miller. Right, Detective Miller's got to jump over the sewage. Dex check. And he fails. So you can either push the roll um, or you can use luck. Yeah, you decide. He's gonna he's gonna push the roll. If he fails, then the keeper decides he lands in the sewage pit or whatever. Yep, okay. He lands in the pit, he doesn't get a move, he's stuck. Right, now it's Frederick's go, he gets two goes, he's up by the wall. Percy's go, he's got to jump over the sewage, just open up his character sheet, do a dex check. 55, he succeeded, because he rolled exactly what once. And Percy's jumped over the sewage. Now it's Betty Boop's go, one, now she's got to jump over the wall. Betty, strength check. Yeah, she's over the wall. She's out of the chase. 
we can tick that she's no longer in the chase now it's Stinky's going now Stinky's neck and neck with Detective Miller so you can attack him or he could be going after Percy because he didn't like the look of Percy Detective Miller looks like a copper so I think he's going to jump over the sewage pit let's open up his sheet scroll down to the stats and dex check boom he's over right good stinky goodbye okay now it's detective miller's go okay detective miller gonna try and jump over the sewage again will he make it or is he just the most useless detective ever no he failed again you decide what the penalties are for that frederick has now got to jump over the wall so strength check for frederick Yep, Frederick is now over the wall and the chase for him is over. I mean, he can come back and help his friends if he wants. All right, Percy thought. Here's go. Percy, got one move. He goes there. Now Betty boops out, so it's the cobbler. The cobbler's got one move. Back to Detective Miller again. Guy's just so unlucky. He's going to do another dex check. Seeded. Right. Now he can shoot Stinky if he wants to, because he's behind him technically. So I mean Stinky should turn around and attack him, but I'm just trying to demonstrate functioning of the yeah, combat tracker. Chase mechanics. Right, Percy's go. One move. Cobblers go, one move. Right, they're neck and neck. So next fight, they, if he doesn't get over he can attack him. Back to Detective Miller, he gets one move. Percy has got to jump the wall. Yep, that's a success. So Percy is over the wall and out of chase. Now it's just Detective Miller. Stinky. So then you resolve that however you like. But that's how chases work in the Call of Cthulhu with uh, Fantasy Grounds. It's very funky and useful and... Um, if you need to understand more, just open up the reference manual and read about chases and it gives you examples of cars and fighting and shooting people and all that stuff. And yeah, this adds to the tension if you've got a little visual indicator on the uh, screen. So that's quite good. Anyway, hope they helped. Thank you very much. Bye bye.